Hey guys and welcome back. I was recently looking through the September 2023 update on Microsoft Fabric and I came across a new feature here that had piqued my interest. Now this new feature is one that many, many customers have been anxiously awaiting for. And I wanted to take a quick moment today just to talk a little bit about this new feature. And this feature that we're going to take a look at today is role level security inside of a data warehouse. So let's click into the link here so we can learn a little bit more about this. So for those of you that don't know, role level security is a feature that will allow you to implement logic that will enable you to restrict what particular roles a user can see within a given table. This type of feature has lots of different use cases that can be applied. Perhaps you need to restrict sales information to a team of sellers so that they can only view their individual sales. Or maybe you run a multi-tenanted application and you need to ensure that each of your tenants can only view their own data sets. These are just a few quick examples. Before we go out and take a look at this new feature, I wanted to point out a few key things first. So number one, you should note that this new feature will only work when you are accessing your data from the Fabric Warehouse or the SQL endpoint. So what this means is that if you have a user that has access to get down to your root parquet files inside of your one lake, they will still be able to view all of the information listed there. So the actual logic for road level security is actually applied at the database tier. So basically, in order for the road level security rules to be enforced, your particular users would need to be accessing the data through the warehouse or from the SQL endpoint. All right. So with that being said, let's go out to the fabric portal here and take a look at things. So. I am inside of a workspace here called RLS and inside of this workspace here, I have one warehouse here called RLS warehouse. And if we go inside of my warehouse here, I have one table here called the sales table. And inside of my sales table here, I have some example order data here. So we can see things here such as our order number, order date, customer name, email address, and so on here. But the key thing that we're going to need to make a note of from our table here is the seller column right here. So looking at our data sets, we can see that I have a Amy Knack seller. I have a Blake Jones seller and I have a Jay Wilson here. So we'll call him Jack. So what I would like to do now is I want to create a policy here to ensure that each of our sellers here can only view the data that is tied back to their actual sales that they have. But I do have one admin user and I need to ensure that that particular admin user can still view all of the data here. So to actually get this to work, I'm going to go out to SQL Server Management Studio here and I'm going to open up a new connection here to my data warehouse. So I'm going to make one connection first, logging in as my admin user. And then I'm going to make one more connection here using my Amy Knack user. Now for the steps that we're going to do here, you can actually do these actual steps here from Management Studio. You could actually do it from the Fabric Portal or you can actually download the Azure Data Studio tool. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a new query window here for my admin user. And I'm just going to run a quick statement here. Let's do a select all from dbo.sales. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to do a select user name just so we can verify the actual user that we are logged in with and we can see that i am logged in here with the admin user and this admin user can see all of the records here so here is our sales data for amy knack blake jones and jay wilson 
So I'm going to open up one more window here for my Amy Knack user. And once again, I'm just going to verify that Amy Knack now can also see all of the data here for all of our sellers. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to open up one more window now using my admin user. And the first thing that we're going to need to do so that we can start to restrict what particular roles our sellers here can actually view is we're going to need to make ourselves a table value function. So I'm going to put in this T SQL statement here and we'll take a moment here just to kind of walk through this to ensure that we all know what this does here. So we're going to make a function here called FN username check and then we're going to pass in one parameter here which is going to be called filter column. Now this column here is actually going to represent the name of the column that we want to filter on from our table. So if we jump back here really quick, that particular column that we want to filter on is going to be the seller column right here. So jumping back over here. So this is going to return for us a table object and that table object is going to filter out the roles based on ensuring that the filter column is going to be equal to the logged in username or if my username is my admin user return for me every single row. So let's just run this statement really quick to make our function and that worked with no issues. So then the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to create ourselves a security policy and we're going to name this policy username filter. And basically all this does is it's going to ensure that we can apply our function here username check to the sales table. And then we're going to pass in the column name right here that we want to filter on. So once again, that's going to be our seller column right here. So I will just run my statement here so that we can make our security policy and that ran with no issue. So now that those two things are in place, I'm going to jump back here to my admin user and I'm going to rerun my statements here one more time. And just like the first run here, my admin user can view all of our seller data right here. And then if I jump back over here to Amy Knack and rerun this statement here, we notice now that Amy Knack can only see the roles here that are tied to her account. So there you have it, folks. This is a quick, quick way for you to implement the new role level security feature that is a part of Microsoft Fabric. So just remember, this feature will only work if you are accessing your data from the data warehouse or through the SQL endpoint. I thank you guys for watching today. Before you leave, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys. Peace.